Welcome to this demonstration on how to create a study manager exercise. I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. Here you see the IT Studies site collection with an exercise on Excel Basics and the first task connected to this exercise. I'll show you more of it later, but now I'll first explain how to create it. I have a teacher account and I'll start from scratch. This is the first time study manager is used. So this page is shown when I click on the study manager link in the quick launch. From here, I can either create example data or go to the administration page and create my own data, which I'll do now. Here is the administration page. And before I start with the actual exercise, I must create the hierarchy levels above it. When you've already have the higher levels in place, you don't have to do this each time. But this first time, I'll start the course, which I will call Microsoft Platforms. The title will be shown in the table of contents, but the instruction text is just for me and other teachers, so I'll skip it now. I'll also skip the sequence, as it's easier to add it later in the sequence view. To add the next level, a part. I can go back to the administration page and create a new item in the parts list, but it's actually quicker just to open the course I just created again in edit mode and add the next level from there. It will be an Excel part. When I save the Excel part, it is shown in the course edit form and I can open it to directly add the next level, which will be the formulas chapter. And again, when the chapter has been saved, it shows up in the part edit form, and I can go into it and add an exercise. At this level, it is possible to add either an exercise or a text that the student can read and listen to. I will select the exercise option, and now comes the interesting part. In the exercises, I cannot skip the instructions field because that field is the actual exercise. Here you can write text or insert images or videos. I'll write an instruction and then add the YouTube embed code for one of my Excel tutorials. When I open the exercise to add a task, the form looks different. When this box is checked, the tasks connected to the Excel Basics 1 exercise will be shown in random order. If I want to decide the order myself, I can add a sequence number in each task or order the tasks later in the sequence view. Study Manager has six different kinds of task templates and here I'll select to add a multiple choice task. Here I write the instructions for these tasks. And I'll write the correct answer here. The wrong alternatives should be shown here, one on each row. Now I'll add it a choose alternatives task. In this task form, I can have several correct options and some incorrect ones. I'll add a third task to this exercise also, a connect task. Here the student must connect the ends of phrases to the correct beginning.
The beginnings are shown in the order I write them, but the endings will be shown in random order. I'll just do a few here to show how it works. Now I'll save all the levels here and then we'll see how this exercise looks for the students. Let's pretend I'm a student now. I watch the demo and I'll work with the tasks. To avoid scrolling I'll put the task to the right instead of below the demo. And this small screen means that I cannot see the whole demo, but it does not matter now. I choose to let Study Manager randomize the tasks, and here is the Choose Alternatives tasks shown first. I'll click on some wrong alternatives to show what happens. I'm not allowed to continue until the task is solved correctly. The connect task comes next. I'll make some mistakes here too. As you see, it's possible to drag back in case you change your mind. Now comes the multiple choice task. After some trial and error, I finally managed to finish this exercise, and here's my result. The result is entered in my statistics report, and now I can continue with the next exercise. As a teacher, I'd like to add an attached file to this exercise with an example Excel file so that the student can work with as a last task. This is also possible in Study Manager, and I'm showing it in another demo. Thank you for watching this one.